So we have today got Louisa Hello. on her driving lesson. Hello. And um, we've so we've done like a few hours, haven't we? Yes. Um, and we've done some left turns, haven't we, so far? Yes. And done did a little bit of right turns. Yes, that's right. And I think we're going to go and do do some more of the right turns. Sure. Um. Because for the camera, what was it to, what is it to sort of work, what is it that we're working on at the moment? What specifically is it that we're working on? I suppose positioning on the road yeah. for a right turn and also controlling the car, the speed of the car so I can get used to my positioning on the road. Yeah. Um, Stopping at giveaway lines when required. Yeah. So it's... Um, it's a bit of, I suppose a lot of it's like the pedal sort of control stuff, some of it is, isn't it? The, what some people refer to as like pedal confidence, and yeah. getting ready to control yeah. the pedals. And like, so yeah, it's like the position as well, isn't it? Because um, with the positioning, um, remind me what it is with the positioning to be working on. And um, For the right turn? Um, I suppose we're a bit interested in general driving even as well, because it's a bit... Well, for, for driving ahead, it's just sort of to make sure I am in the middle of my lane yeah not too far to the right or left yeah which I've struggled with and for left turns to give myself enough time to actually position myself to the left yeah um, so is that is actually like the the one we, we've done which would I think you think is one with the road works was um, that you talking about right I'm turns the or one, oh, I'm thinking the left turn. I'm thinking the one when I had to stop at the giveaway lines. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the one, the T junction. Yeah. And then the same with turning towards right to make sure I'm positioning myself towards the middle. Yeah, what they call the... next, next, like left. What some people refer to as left of center. Yes. Or you're just left of yes. the center line. Yeah. Um. And particularly it's the one we had we have kind of up here with some of the roadworks on mm -hmm. that it was like yeah it's like this isn't it where there's roadworks here yeah um and i just actually gave you a bit of a demonstration of it didn't i didn't, didn't a moment ago yes, um, indeed. and when doing it um how did you know how did i approach this turn if i was coming up to here and turning right here Mm -hmm. What did you notice about how I approached the turn? Um, well, you went quite slow yeah. Yeah, when you got there. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you want me to talk about the car coming? The um, or... Not more about the position, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, right. so, the sort of, so I went very slow. Very, very slow. And then I think quite sharply you had to go in into your own lane. Yeah. And then quite quickly steer to position left to the midline. Mm, which is part of the reason to go very very slow right because you need line. time to do all the steering. Yes. It's like a very 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 slow walking pace. Mm -hmm. um, some people use the phrase of stuff like a snail dragging a stone. Yeah. So like a very really really slow speed because it is very tight to manoeuvre. Yes. And I even actually when I got to about here I even kind of like pause the car Yeah. for half a second. Just to give yourself time I suppose to mm -hmm figure how you have to steer yeah to get that's it because it was position. very tight isn't it with those mm -hmm. those cones there which um the people watching this video will see in a moment what you mean it's, yeah. it's very sort of tight you have to go almost pause just to really think mm -hmm. when can do i turn yeah he's turn now because it's, it's very tight yeah um so uh and just in terms of the positioning the normal road position normal positioning mm -hmm. um just for the benefit of the people on on uh, that might be watching this video, yeah. Um, what are some of the things we spoke about to help you with your positioning, so you know where your position is? There's a few things we spoke about, wasn't there? Um, you could use. Yes, I could. I could look glance at the mirrors to make sure that how much space I actually have. Yeah. Because um, it's been hard for me to judge my position, thinking I have less space than I actually have when yeah. I did actually have space. Mm -hmm. Um. And one way that I'm trying to think of it um, is sort of to 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 think of my my left foot as being almost in the center of my lane, 
Yeah. That seems to help me. Yeah. Position myself in the center. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Just things like I know. I've heard, certainly heard people doing things like that before, and they mm. can help. Um, and when there's vehicles coming towards us. Yes. Do we want to be looking at the vehicles when they're coming towards us? <laughs> yes, not for, not for too long. <laughs> so it's it's just kind of, because what's the problem if you look at them for too long or if you look at the vehicles um, too much? Well, for myself, I tend to want to avoid them, just to steer away from them and then... Yeah. And that's not just probably yourself, that's probably quite common it yeah. is, that kind of it's just sort of the brain getting scared of kind of trying yes. to avoid them avoid. so rather than looking at the ve oncoming vehicles where do um, we want to try to be looking well at where you're actually going yeah so like in this case it'd be almost like looking at the back of this black yes. car this parked black car yeah looking at his number plate almost mm -hmm. at the center of your lane yeah and then with practice that will generally uh, make your position sort of better and that's that yes. sort of thing yeah um so Uh, yeah, so we're going to do some. We're going to do some of these these right turns. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you. We've already kind of um, gone through them briefly of how to do them, haven't we? Yes. Um, we talked a bit about priorities mm -hmm. and that sort of thing, and positionings to turn and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so and yeah, like like we know, I'm going to give you give you lots of help with it. Particularly with the one with the roadworks, yeah. and like so with the roadworks, we're gonna, we're gonna like, I think we might even actually just come to a stop before we want need to steer left, just yeah. to get used to when to turn. Yeah, that might help. And just break it down into kind of stages yes. rather than trying to do it in one one motion. Yeah. Um. So we will move off when it's safe to. Any any questions? Is there any questions before we move off? Um. No. Okay. I think it's all clear. Cool. So we move off when it's safe to. Good, good, well responded with the clutch down a bit. Keep the clutch there. Because remind me, why does it need to be quite low, the clutch, at the moment? Because uh, I'm facing downhill. Yeah, it's going to be quite eager to go, isn't it? Yeah. Any oncoming vehicles to give way to? Not at the moment. Okay, cool. Just the reason, of course, I ask this for anyone watching, just because here it's hard for me in this seat to see what's coming. That's right. So, in the nicest possible way, basically our life is in your hands. <laughs> so, just want to just ask, just to make sure that you're happy, it's safe to go through, because you can see better than me. This white one's not too bad. We can see further around this white one. Mm -hmm. could you use here? So try and look ahead as well. That's it. And if a vehicle came towards us at the moment, what would you need to do? Um, stop. Good. So, so where does that right foot need to go then? That bass that you're ready with that. I'd even maybe just tuck that it. Just you're a bit more ready to stop. Up for this guy. That's it. So a bit more brake. Clutch fully down. A bit more brake so we can stop for them. It, and what gear do we need now? Is it, is it safe to go after the white one? Not just yet. How about after the white one? Oh, after the white one, yes. Then you can start to have your feet ready. So you're ready. That's good. Good, good checking of your mirrors. I'm going to be taking the next road on the right. So, which mirrors and signal, that's good. Is there any of you cover brake here? Just so again, your feet are ready to go in case you need them. So is there anyone to give way to here? Uh, no. Is it safe to turn into the new road? Yes. Yes, yeah, so we're slowly going. But remember doing no gas here because the next junction is very, very soon. Brakes. So this is, that's okay. This is fine here. So what we're going to do, they, let's just see, Am we're just going to come there? to a stop here. Just stop just here. Stop here. Just, that's brilliant. Clutch down. Okay. okay. Just need right. to press the clutch down when you're stopping. Just keep the foot brake on. Keep the foot brake on, otherwise it could roll. And just stay still because they can go in there. We wouldn't pull in there because that's the wrong side of the road. Right. So let's see if they're going to come through because it's a bit tight for us to fit through there. 
Um, right, so they're not people. What we're going to do, we're going to move slowly up towards them mm -hmm. and see maybe there is room. So you should be able to carry out the handbrake because the road is flat. Just nice and gently. When you pull away, just steer away from the cones because we're quite close to the left here. If you look at to the right, much space there is. That's it. Now uh, they're going to back up a bit more room. So we're going to be turning right at the end of the road. So we're going to just pause before we steer so we can really get used to judging this. That's it. Just keep that wheel straight and just move forwards a little bit more. That's it. Clutch down a bit, keep the wheel straight. If you look here, that's it now still, that's good. And I'll steer back the other way. And then stop in there. That's stop, that's it. That's okay. good. Handbrake on, stop brake, brake, so it doesn't roll. So then you're gonna get your feet ready. So clutch down, good. And that's quite hard to see to the right yeah, here, isn't it? I can so literally see. Okay, so clutch down a little bit, clutch it so because it shouldn't be moving with a handbrake on. So now I've used blocks, so we're gonna have to edge out very, very um, slowly. Coming. Okay, can you sort of see Pat yeah, right? I can sort of free the, free the window. Okay, yeah. cool. So really tight clutch control here because it is hard to see. Oh, that's actually it's made it easier, isn't it? So so you go whenever you're ready. That's good. That's good. That's it. Cool. Anyone following you? No. Okay, cool. That's it. That's cool. Yes, yeah, so always just having that awareness of always knowing what's around you. Yeah, well done for dealing with that though, because it was getting a little bit fiddly there, wasn't it? Mm. With that other particularly as well as someone else learning as well. Good, well adjusted your steering, because if you realise that time you're getting a bit close to the left. That's good, and then we're gonna... So you've got a really good position here, so there's no need to steer to the left. And they're gonna be taking the next road on the right. That's good with your mirrors, that's it. And then where do you want to be positioned now? That's it, go near that centre line. Good. And then what be a better gear now? It. And then is it safe to turn in? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So just a little bit away from that curb there. It's a little bit close. Is there anyone following you? No. Okay, cool. No. And we've got this park vehicle. We'll keep that wheel straight because we're just starting to steer left. They keep the steer away from it because we just steered left there unintentionally. So is it safe to go around the park uh, vehicle? Yeah, there's nothing else coming. Okay. Steer a bit tighter. That's better. Because just trying to keep trying to remember, Louise, there's more space to the right than you think. Yeah. So it's like when you come around this one, when it's safe to do it, remember you can steer more to the right. You've got more room there. That's really nice. That has a really good position for distance from that vehicle that time. And the same here. Remember, there is more room to the right. That's it. And then that's good. This, that's it. This is good position here. a little bit away from that. that's good this is good where you're positioned now this has got a good position trust it you're okay here just follow the cut rock corner around like this you're okay i know it'll feel very close but you're fine and at the end of the road we're going to turn right that's good that's it. and we're starting to use those brakes to slow so clutch down clutch down that's it and then keep your foot on the brake, brake for me. Because what gear do you need first? That's it. Because you would keep your foot on the brake just for the second. There's no one behind the moment. If you try to pull forwards in second gear there, do you know what the problem would be? My stall? Yeah, so that's why I just asked you to brake there, yeah. just so we make sure you definitely go down to gear one. So um yeah, so we're we're edge up to the line. Yeah, that's it. Safe to go. Yeah, no, look, wait, 
clutch down a bit, clutch down a bit. That's it. It's like I think we spoke about earlier, isn't it, with the right hands. You notice how right hands, you all tend to need to steer more. Yeah. So you have to have that bit more control of the clutch. Do you have more control of the steering? That's because they right. are generally sharper turns. That's nice positioning from that park vehicle. change you'll be okay because you're thinking of it aren't you yeah go on you'll be okay there you go and just remember just keep looking as far ahead as you can on your side of the road yeah, i mean There's... i could have changed earlier but the, there was a car park yeah so that's fair enough to deal with a parked vehicle of course ultimately you probably would change gear early but at the moment that's fair enough to deal with a parked vehicle first so as you might guess we're going to be taking yeah. the next road on the right so it's a signal right to this car that's it so he knows why you're slowing a little bit more brake before you do the gear change. Now you do the gear about now into gear one. A little bit more brake though to slow it. Is it safe to go? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna let this turn in, that's it. Eat. That's good. Good way to run the brake there. Let's do it. That's it. No gas through here remember. That's it. Straighten the wheel. Straighten the wheel. That's it so we don't steer into the cones. And we're gonna turn right here. So we pop your right signal on. And we're just going to just, just go clutch down and just come to a stop here for a second for me. There's no one behind, it's fine. That's cool. Just so we can practice, we're going to go forwards in the moment and we're going to come to a stop when you think you need to steer mm -hmm. to see if you can judge that. Sure. So we're going to go forwards really nice and slowly, focus on what you're doing, try not to think about this car that's appeared behind us. So, when do you think you would need to steer? Oh, no. Not quite. Oh, no. About now. So this is now we're going to go forward slowly and then start steering when we're moving. Clutch down. That's it. And then that's good. That's it. Yeah. And then here, rem remind me here, why do you need to put the handbrake on here? Because I might be rolling but I was pressing the yeah. brake. That's it. And now we need to get ready now. Yeah, that's basically you can get ready really, isn't it? Because you yeah. can then come off the brake and get your feet ready. Um, seems okay. So clutch down, stop, 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 stop. I'm going to stop you there for a moment. Because you're bringing the clutch up to move and the handbrake's still on. Oh, cool. So you need to keep your handbrake on for the moment. So I'm just going to come off the foot brake. So what do you need to do with your feet before you release the handbrake? Um, get my biting point. That's it. See so if you get your biting point. Remember, it shouldn't move though. Yeah. It should just be ready to move. That's it, isn't it? That sounds good there. Then is it safe to go? Yep. Yeah. That's it. So it's just getting into all these sort of routines, isn't it, really? Mm. taking the next road on the right. So now what do you want to do with your speed now? That's it, and where do you want to be positioned? Show me that, that's really good. That's it, and now what gear would you need? That's it. That's good. That was better with the steering mm, that time. Yeah. away from the curb here, that's it. So, is it safe to go around the parked vehicle? Yes. Yeah. So remember, give them more room, because there is space to the right, more space to the right than you might think, remember. Is it like this is perfect, this position here. 
you wouldn't want to go any too much closer to the left because otherwise we'll get too close to the curb. That's good, that's nice position from that park vehicle. Just stay in gear one just here for the mm -hmm. moment. Good. That was a nice adjustment that time. It felt like you realised that time yeah. you're getting a bit close to the curb. Because I'm conscious there might be the other driver's school coming towards us at the moment. Which yeah. I said to go in gear one. They're probably going to be up here just in two seconds, I imagine. And at the end of the road, we're going to turn right. that way but you're okay you're okay you've got room just keep your brake on brake brake foot brake Set. and then what signal do we need Set. clutch down a bit clutch down can we have another go though you put your foot yeah, brake on sorry. put your foot brake on try oh. to stop the foot brake though not the handbrake <laughs> So let's have another go at doing that because we don't want the car moving when the handbrake's on. So have another go at trying to get your biting point, but with, with, with the handbrake on, but without the car moving. Right. That's it there. So it's a hand and a handbrake, but don't release it yet. So we we'll wait for this guy to turn in. Is it safe to go? Yes. Yeah. So. So. Good. That was better control coming out that time though. So, and then what we'll do, we're just going to then pull up on the left in a safe place along here. Is there anyone to signal to? Um, yes. Right. Okay. Steer a little bit away. That's it. Keep this position here, remember. This is good, steer away. This is good, keep this position. You're perfectly fine here from the curb, just gently coming to a stop. Hi guys, I thought I'd just show you this book to add to your collection. The New Driver's Handbook. It's a three in one book and it's got some pretty good reviews from a driving examiner and a driving instructor. It has over 800 practice theory test questions, common driving test faults, driving test general tips, and advice on dealing with nerves on the big day. Finally, it has tips for after you've passed your test, including vehicle maintenance and driving abroad. You can find a link to this book in the description below. Now back to the video. Cool. So, because how does it? How does your position from the curb feel at the moment? How far away from the curb do you think you are? Um, it's quite close, but I think it's good by mm -hmm. judging by where the curb comes on the front of the car. Yeah. Yeah. Because how good. how far away do you think we are? If you were to show me. Uh, maybe about this. Yeah. Far. Let's see what your. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you said about that? Yeah. 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 It's a good estimation. Yeah. Yep, it's a good end estimation, like you say. Um, yeah. So, is it is it getting a little bit better though, of judging where how far away you are and your position in the road? Because like back there is yes. quite good. You seem to realise you're getting a bit close, and then yeah. kind of um, steer to adjust it. That's right. I mean, there are times when it's easy, and I think when when things are happening around or I have to do other things that I may lose a bit less I have will have less concentration as yeah. it was on the on position of the road but thankfully I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. Now so it's good rather so it's, than before. Yeah. So it is getting better then. You're yeah. sort of you're realising it, noticing yeah. it noticing it more. Um, which is good because that's kind of what you want to be doing. What ultimately you want to be to kind of beating me to it essentially. To yes. Before I have to sell, before I sort of just touch the wood a little bit. Yeah. For you to beat me to it and realise oh no it is getting a bit close there. Yes, that's right. Um yeah, so that's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how was the how was the right turn with the roadworks? That quite tight one. How do um, you find how do you find that doing that? 
it's not that difficult. I mean, I, I didn't find it massively difficult, but maybe because I was going really slow. Yeah. So that's the key, really, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's very tight. Yeah. Um. Yeah, because how, how does how does going slow make it easier? You have more time to observe and judge mm. what you need to do. Yeah. And um, I suppose that's just to clarify. Let's say when we're turning right here, mm -hmm. if I move this car along, why don't you tell me when you think you should start steering into the left? Okay. If I move him along, mm -hmm. when do you think you would start steering? Not just yet. Not just yet. Well, now. Yeah, about there. Yeah. 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 So I'd 100% agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. The only reason I mentioned it, when you said to me initially a moment ago, I would steer now, yes. the car was positioned oh, yes, like so there, which is why I'd say, okay, not quite yeah. yet, go forwards a bit more <laughs> until we were somewhere like that ish or somewhere like that we want to. Okay, actually, I suppose, I suppose it's similar to when you have to turn right and. Yeah. I can see the uh, the separation line in the middle too. Um, yeah. Just just underneath my mirror. Yeah. And that's when your bonnet is right at at where you're supposed to turn. Yes. So it's the same. I suppose it is in there, some ways. Because yeah. Because your front of the car is right there, and until your until the front of the car doesn't get there, you can't steer yeah it'd be too early yeah so i suppose so i can see what you mean it's sort of similar isn't it yeah um because if you try to steer at this point here yeah you'd go into the cones yeah you go into the cones mm -hmm. yeah that's it um so that's why um earlier on kind of i sort of steered you earlier on on what when we did this earlier on because mm -hmm. we kind of were steering at that point yeah. and i'd tell the wind said not quite yet mm -hmm. now steer so to wait like say so wait till you've got yeah like i say so there. Um, of course, it's, it's, always, it's always one thing in theory, isn't it? It's, it's different yes. doing it practically. Absolutely. But that's why I kind of, yeah, do it really slowly so you can have time to think when to steer. I think a bit more, a bit more, now mm -hmm. steer. Mm -hmm. um, it's like you said, it's a feel thing. Yeah, it is a feel thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a sort of, um, a lot of, most, most steering and position is of a sort of feel thing. Um, so... I think I thought we could have a few goes at doing here. Mm -hmm. Is want to see if we can have a few goes at finding this biting point, and mm -hmm. um, without the car moving. Yes, sure. Because um, of course the car shouldn't be moving when the handbrake's on. Yeah. If that if it is moving, what does that tell you about your clutch? Clutch is too high up. Yeah, that's it. So, so we're gonna have a few goes at doing it just here, just to sort of practice that. Mm -hmm. So if you can start up the engine whenever you're ready. And then when you're ready, I want to see if you can, you know, go into gear one and then do your gas and biting point, but without the car moving anywhere, just pre to, just preparing the car mm -hmm. to move. Uh, shall I take the handbrake off? Uh, we'll keep the handbrake on because that's okay. the kind of thing to practice, okay. to practice getting our feet ready with the handbrake on. So if we now go clutch fully down, that's it, cool. And go, if you go fully down the clutch, that's it. And now if you come off the gas, and I want you to now repeat that. So now see if you can do your gas and find the biting point again. So a few goes at doing it. Easier now that noisy car's yeah, gone. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. That's it. That's good. And now if you go clutch fully down and then off the gas, and then have another go. That's it. That's it, yeah. Cool. And then we have to go clutch fully down. So you can go fully down and the clutch will be fine and then off the gas. Did you want to have any more goes at doing that? Um, I'm fine. Yeah, so if you go back into neutral, just so you can just give your foot a bit of rest for the moment. So, do you think that's something you can now put into practice at the junctions? Should do. Kind of getting that gas and bite when the handbrake's on. Yeah. Um, and do you understand why at the junctions, why sometimes we're using the handbrake? Um, just so that you don't have your lights 
brake lights always on um, and also not to roll back if it's yeah, a hill. Yeah, and more the second one, but it's a fair yeah. point to be fair. The highway code does actually say if you have your foot brake on for too long it can dazzle cars yes. behind yeah um but probably not too much a problem in daylight yeah. more at night time that's a problem but that's it's right. more the sort of hill thing yeah that yeah if it's going to roll mm -hmm. um yeah um if it's so just to clarify if it does start to roll back put the handbrake on before that as soon as you notice it's starting to roll back oh uh clutch uh i think i, I mean but go for the foot brake Brake, yes, if it starts to roll, just jump on the foot brake. Right, yeah. Um, try not to use the handbrake to stop the car. Mm -hmm. Use the foot brake to stop the car. Right. Um, because what's the danger if it does start to roll back? You, if there's somebody behind, you can get yeah. too close to them. Or... Yeah. So as soon as you notice, just go on the foot brake. Ultimately, I think like we've practiced earlier on. Ultimately, if it does roll back, you might do the thing where you bring the clutch up to the biting point. Yeah. I think that's what you might have meant with the clutch. Yes. But at this stage, probably err on a sort of caution and go for the foot brake because right. it does take a bit of practice to do. Sure. To do that. Um. So yeah. So if it does start to roll back, just go for the brake at the moment, mm -hmm. and then once the foot brake's on, then you can apply the handbrake, hand yeah. and then you can get your do your gas and your biting mm -hmm. points, prepare the car to move forwards. Um, so, how would you feel about, now we've, now we've done a few of these right turns here, mm -hmm. how would you feel about if we um, mix up some of the turns now okay. and um, venture a bit further down into this housing estate? Okay. Um, it'll still be the same sort of level of traffic, it's not okay. going to be roads getting any busy or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be a mixture of turns, so there's like some turns we can do, we can do like here. Mm -hmm. Um, just to sort of mix things up a little bit and um, yeah, let's go for it. that sort of thing. So, any questions for me before we before we move off? No. Okay. <laughs> so we move off when it's safe to. This road, I don't know if you mentioned before, can you even see there's like a little mark in the centre of the road? Yes. So you could use that to help you as well. That's the centre of the road. Yes, I have been using it. Oh, have actually. you? Yep. So you've, yeah. been, you've been kind of <laughs> one step ahead of me. But no, it's good. Yeah, sometimes you can use little marks like that to help. It can be useful. You need to reckon you need to get gear too? I could do, yes. I just don't well. know when I'm turning. Remember, I'll let you know in plenty of time okay. while you're turning. So I'll be a good navigator. I'm not going to just sight you at the last second, remember. Um, so I'd like you to take the next road on the right, please. To where the... Um... Where the road works. Oh, where the cyclist has just gone, if you saw him. Sure. So a bit more brake first before you change the gear. It's about... This is now gear one speed. That's it. Just cover the brake here, just so you're ready to use it if you need to give way to someone. Is it safe to turn in? Yes. Yeah, cool. Now remember here, try to give these cones more room. There's more room to the right than you think. And at the end of the road, we're going to turn right. And I want you to like before, I want you to come to a stop when you think you need to steer. Mm -hmm. Just keeping the wheel straight and just stopping in the straight line. So just stopping in the straight line. So what do you think? Uh, a bit more. Far now. Yeah, I'd agree. About here is when mm -hmm. you'd want to steer. So, yeah, so when you're ready to, you know, should have some really good clutch control. Let's come here, so. That's good, nice. That's good. So brake, foot brake, foot brake. So what do you need to use here, Louisa? Because it's rolling back, isn't it? Yeah, I was actually getting ready to go. Okay, but because it's um, starting to roll, 
Yeah. And each handbrake. has this is sort of one here. When you stop here, I'd always put the handbrake on here. Right, okay. Because as soon as you come for that foot brake, it's gonna start rolling. And like it says in that yeah. thing, like maybe that cyclist is going behind us. We've got to roll back towards that yeah, cyclist. That's right. Is there any questions? No, I'm just okay. waiting for So they look like they're going to let you go first. So after the, but it's got this black one. So this black one's turning here. So wait for this black one. That's it. And then is it safe now? Yeah. Yeah. So handbrake off. changing gear so did you notice where you looked yeah i looked at the gear too. yeah do you see what happened to your position because of that yes it's, i went to the left yeah so we're going to continue to follow the road ahead this time mm -hmm. and you'll see here the road narrows to one yeah. lane with the cones so according to these road signs we have to give way to oncoming traffic so but is there any traffic to, to give way to not at the moment okay and now, oh, now he's gone round, is there anyone else trying to know? If we've got the oncoming vehicles, we're going to stop for this oncoming vehicle. Clutch down. That's it, and stop just here, stop. So you have room to steer around the cones. Good idea. What gear do you need? First. That's it, and get your feet ready. Stay your gas and biting points, you're ready to go. Clutch, Ooh. brake, brake, I'm just going to brake for you. Sorry. Handbrake on. You need to find your biting point, Louisa. So find your bite. Clutch down a fraction, down to about there. We're going to go... So I'm just going to put the brake on for you, I'm just going to stop you, clutch down for me. So your clutch is going too high, so you need to find your bite, but not too high, it mustn't move with the handbrake on. Feet still there, little bit of gas, set the gas, clutch down a fraction, clutch down, that's where the clutch needs to be, handbrake off, and steering round, that's better. Yeah, just the clutch was a little bit low hear. at first, then it was a bit high at first, mm. then it was a bit high. So you couldn't hear. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I was going by the noise and I couldn't hear. I suppose it's like seeing it, sometimes it might not be possible to hear the noise, it's getting a feel as well yeah. for it. And we've got the park vehicles here, there'll be no need to signal here. No signals needed, it should be a case of checking your mirrors. Is it safe to go through? Um, yeah. So. So give them more room because if these spots, do you know what the benefit is of giving these parked vehicles more room? Okay, so door opens. Yeah, that's it. So this is a really good position here. It's safe to go through. There's nothing coming towards us. That's it. And we're going to be taking the next road on the right. Nice positioning there for that turn. We've turned in, you stayed on your side of the road nicely. Yeah. And if you look at the lines on the road here, the road just bends round sharply to the left. Yes, that's right. So just ease off your gas, that'll make it easier to practice to get your used to it. Make, because it's quite acidic, so you have just to give yourself time to steer and get used to your positioning. That's it. So you see that lower speed that just gave you time just to correct yeah. your steering there. So which ultimately, you might not just do it that slow, but the moment we are, just to give yourself time to do your steering. But here though, why is it safe to go a bit faster here? Uh, well, can't see very well, but okay. I can there. The bend there was a bit less sharp as well though. 
Yes, absolutely. So, so we're going to build a bit of speed here, a bit more gas. We've got a nice clear bit of road, a bit more gas. That's it. And then doing your gear too. That's it. And then we're going to be taking the next road on the left, just just on this corner here in a moment. Can you see it? Um, next left. There it is. Right. So a bit more brake. And what yes, gear do we need? First. That's it. A bit more brake because it's quite sharp. It's an easing up off the brake and easing up on the clutch. Steer that way. Good. Good correction because it was getting a tad close to the curve for half a second. And we're going to be taking the next road on the left. That's good. Nice bit of braking. Accelerating too much um, here. Sharp bends. Yeah. So it's hoping you can see a difference between these bends and the bends earlier where we mm. could have been accelerating around one of the bends earlier because it wasn't very sharp. So is it safe to go around them? Yes. Yeah. Well, like here, why is it safe to accelerate now? Because uh, you can see. Yeah. You can see That's quite it. clearly. And this bend here, would you say this bend is particularly sharp or not too not bad? Not really, no. Yeah, so you can do a little bit of gas here and even go for gear two. Good, like that we're coming off the gas here, because what's different about this bend, you're okay, off the brake, plenty of room there, because this bend's a little bit more blind isn't it, yeah, a little bit sharper, yeah, right. so you don't want to be going to exploring too much around this one. Particularly in this next bend, you have to be careful. Just cover the brake and just gently braking, 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 and off the brake, off the brake. It's going to change down to gear one. I just held your steering there because in this situation, we don't want to steer left because we'd mount mm. the curb. We just need to brake. So it's going to well, follow steering. the road around you. We're steering to the left, we were there inadvertently. So we're going to look me nice and far ahead. They're giving way off the brake. You're fine. They're fine. They can see you. So you're looking nice and far ahead. Is, there, is it safe to go through? Yes. See, if there was a car coming, we would just brake and stop Louisa and they would pull in there. We wouldn't steer left because it would end up mounting the kerb. Absolutely. So it's like be really careful. A car comes here, what's the first thing you're going to do? Stop. Good. That's it. And we're going to be taking the next road on the left. You see here how the hill slows you, doesn't it, quite yeah. naturally. So you won't even probably have to touch the brake for this one. And here, why is it not safe to accelerate too much here? Sharp bends. Yeah, that's it. I can't really see too far ahead. Yep, that's it. Particularly the next one has to be quite careful of because the next one does bend around very sharply. Good, that's nice there. Yeah, well, this bend's not too bad this bend's not as sharp. So you can do a little bit more gas here, you'll be fine because the road is wide enough for two cars, remember, so you're perfectly positioned here. That's it. And then we'll, and let's go for gear two, you'll be okay. Steering as well, so this is... That's it. Because you've got lots of room here, yeah. Because you see, he's on his side of the yeah. line, isn't he? If you check your right mirror, are you on your side of the line? Yeah. So if you're on your side, they're on their side, it's impossible to mm -hmm. cause any problem mm -hmm. to each other. 
because you're both sharing the road. We're going to be taking the next road on the left. So, that's it. So, so now what you need to do with your speed. That's it, this is quite tight one, isn't it? A little bit more brake, a bit more brake, and then what gear do you need? That's it. A bit more brake. Off the clutch down. Off the brake. Oh. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to put into gear. I'm just come off the brake for me. I've got the clutch. You just didn't press your clutch down there, so the yeah. gear wasn't changing. So, so if you just cover brake for me, I'd like to then pull up on the left, just in a safe place along here. So just steer that way a bit more. That's mm -hmm. it. Then straighten. So, clutch. And stop just, just here. Oh, okay, you can go to the next one, that's fine. About here is where you want to be. No closer than this. Uh, just ease off the brake, let it roll. Just let it roll forwards. So, when do you think you're clear of the driveway? I think I'm fine now. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's it. Cool, I'm going to give the engine a bit of a rest for a moment. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, so based based on um, those bits there, how's how's it feeling with the position at the moment? With the better, how's... although there are times I need to be careful, I suppose. Um, when I look down at the gear stick to see what gear I was on, yeah, then I steered to the left, mm. and yeah, that's been a distraction. But are there overall, any other... it's better. Are there any other ways you could check which gear you're in apart from looking? I suppose looking at the dashboard. How could that help? Uh, see how fast I'm going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if you're going, let's say, 15 miles per hour, mm -hmm. what gear are you likely to be in? Second. Yeah. Provided I have changed. Provided to second, you change. Yeah. yeah. And if you're going five miles an hour. First. Yeah. So you see, so the speed can help you to sort of estimate, but that's like providing you. That's for sure. Gear, yeah. It's just at the moment for me, I didn't realize. Yeah. Um, um, it's also like if you if you look at if you look at the road ahead for me, look towards these silver cars yeah. up here. And if I just move the gear stick, just while you're looking ahead, mm -hmm. if you put your hand on a gear stick for me while looking ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so keep looking ahead of that silver car. <laughs> is that gear stick? Is it down towards is the handbrake? Was it up towards the radio? Um, what do you say by feeling it? Well, I've seen. Is it more down or more up? I've, it's more down. Good. So, you can then use that to work out what gear that is. All oh, right. If yes. it's down, do you know what gear it is likely to be? Um, one, four, four, reverse. Okay, a good phrase that someone came up before, um, to try and help them understand this. They came up with even when you're down, and up against the odds. So if it's down, it's an even number. Oh, right. So it's two, four, six. Oh, yes, two. If it's yeah, up, right. it's an odd number, one, three, five. Yeah. So okay. even when you're down and up against the odds. Right. Okay. So, and again, if you look look at the road ahead of me, look towards that silver car. Just keep looking at the silver car and yeah. put your hand in a gear stick. Would you say that gear stick is more up or more down? Up. So if it's up, which gears could that be? One, three, or five. That's it, so the odd numbers. Yeah. And you can then use your speed to work it out. Because if you're going mm -hmm. around this sort of area here, mm -hmm. you're probably not going to be in gear five. No, yeah. Um, it's also unlikely to be in gear three. three yeah, because it's, it's, it's quite not tight, a fast isn't it? Road, it's not yeah. a fast road. Um, so that's the way you can change it by having your hands in the, just feeling the gear stick. Okay. Yeah. Um, just to sort of check the check which gear you're in. So you could, that's something you can do when you're approaching a junction. Just temporarily, just put your hands in the gear seat. Right, I'm in gear one, or right, you might yes. go, I'm in gear two, and then put your hand back to the wheel. So not don't hold hold your hand hold your hand there for an excessive amount of time. Yeah. But you can do that to sort of it's a safe way of doing it rather than looking at the gear stick and then kind of the positioning. Yeah, that's a good point because positioning I didn't drifting. think about that. Hmm. It's, um, I think it's probably why some people get in a, a bad habit of having their hand on the gear stick constantly. Mm. Sometimes you find um, full license holders do that. Yeah. 
probably because they're almost wanting to always have their hand in the gear so they know what gear they're in almost so they just yeah. drive around with one hand in the gear stick one hand on the wheel yeah i've seen that <laughs> which isn't really probably the best of habits yeah. but you can take slight a bit of that by putting mm -hmm. your hand in the gear stick just to check which gear you're in but yeah. then just put your hand back in the wheel once you've once well, you've checked yeah. it um so um uh, we know when the vehicles are coming towards you mm -hmm. Does it still feel like you're close to them? Because it still, we still seems to be sort of steering a bit when a vehicle comes towards us. Um, I assume it's obviously like a subconscious reaction. Does it suppose, feel quite close when they're coming towards you, or? It does feel close in a way. I suppose I, I get a bit more scared when there's a narrower road. Yeah. Then, like here, it's a bit better. Yeah. But when it's a narrow road, I'm thinking, oh, mm. are they too close? Yeah. Of course, if you've got the centre line on the road, yeah, you can use that. It's easier to check with that. Yeah, because if they're on their side of the centre line, and you're on your side... Yeah, then it's all safe. Yeah, it will, it will be safe. Mm -hmm. um, it's also worth noting, the roads we've just been going on, or most of the roads anyway, are actually built for buses. Buses oh, actually oh, go on those roads, surprise, <laughs> you might be surprised to hear. So if it's room, there's a room for a bus to fit. Yeah, there'll be room for me. There'll be room for you sure. to fit. <laughs> These roads here, they aren't for buses, but the one we were just on mm -hmm. is a bus route. Yeah. Um, and you, you might see if you watch back the video or right, there were actually bus stops on that bit of road. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, uh, what we, I thought we could maybe do. Let's maybe carry on going straight down here in a moment. This mm -hmm. goes to a coldy sack. Okay. Um, and we can maybe practice turning around in the cul-de-sac. Okay. Um, yeah, just to sort of mix things up a little bit and try different little bits sure. and pieces. So. Um, you mean like we turned around in previous? Um, sort lesson. of. Yeah, okay. we're going to do the one where actually it's going to involve using a reverse gear because we're yes, going to do a turn yeah. turn around. So it's not like a cul-de-sac where it's like the big circle like we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I meant. It's basically, yeah. like it's this bit. This bit here we're going to yes, go to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. Um, okay. Yeah. Cool. So we move off when it's safe to. Clutch down a bit. Remember. Clutch down a bit. Any questions about why you need to do that? Uh, it was moving forward. That's it. Can you understand why it shouldn't be moving forwards yet? Um, there's something coming from behind. So I probably wouldn't go just yet, because that red car, or they yeah, gonna, are they going to go that way? Them. Okay, cool. So hand in the hand, and then you're on my leg, that's it. Cancel. That's it. Is anyone overtaking? Let's have a check of these mirrors. No. And have you just covered the brake for me here? Just okay. Remember, we've got lots more room to the right to so keep it out. That's much better. Like this is where we need to be positioned. So we're just going to be turning left here. We can't see around the corner. Let's just brake a little bit and clutch down because we can't see around the corner. You can almost treat this like a junction because you don't know what's around that corner. Okay, and then we're going to proceed, proceed just around this corner. So clutch down a bit, clutch down a bit. Can we stop for a moment? Can we have another go at doing that? Can we sort this out, do you reckon? Because we shouldn't be moving with the handbrake yeah. on. Do you reckon you can sort that, Louisa? Yeah. Let's have another go. So it shouldn't be moving with the handbrake on. So clutch down a bit. Clutch down a bit, keep your foot still there, hand on the handbrake, keep your clutch still there, and release the handbrake. That's it. And clutch down a bit to give you a bit of to give yourself more control. And then once we straighten, if we just come to a stop just here, just stop here is fine, don't worry if you're blocking the road. That's it. Because we're now going to think about turning around here. Um, how do you think you could turn around here? What do you, what's your, what would your plan be? I'd be going that yeah. 
Well, I could, you could go do that both, way you can as well. It doesn't matter too way. much, does it? No. So, should we go for your first instance? You're going to go that way yeah. and then we're back up. Okay. So, yeah. Um, do I need to Is there anyone here? to benefit? Maybe I think should. you would help anyone? Uh, well, not that I can see, but okay. just in case. So. Shall I? Shall yeah, so it's up to you. It doesn't really benefit anyone, so it's not really needed. No. Okay. This is really in a very quiet coldy sack. down a bit. Steer towards me, keep away from that's it, I'll play mine a moment and now steer that way. And then stop. 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 That's it. Because we need to keep your brake on. Keep your brake on. This is fine this position. Because you need to keep away from the curb on the right, Louisa. You can't keep close to that curb on the right. Right. Um because if you're now going to reverse gear and yeah the handbrake's actually a good idea. Yeah. Because when you start to back up here, which way do you think you're going to be steering? Um, that way. Good. And when you steer that way, the front of the car is going to mm -hmm. swing out. So if you're too close, if you pulled up too close oh, to the I curb and you back up, your front would mount the curb. Yeah. So you need, when you're manoeuvring, you need to give space around the car. You don't want to be keeping too close to a curb. Right. Because you might hit it when you then back up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so have a go at this. So. Hands on the handbrake, then you remember the handbrake's on. That's it. And then which so steering, that's it. Good. Clutch down a bit, steer more. Steer more, because so that's, can you see there's more space over here? Clutch up a fraction. Clutch down a little bit. That's it. Clutch down a bit to control that speed. And then brake to stop. So brake to stop, stop, stop. Could you feel the car starting to go faster there? Yeah. So we need to then use the brakes to take control. Because the car here is starting to roll downhill. Yeah, it's downhill. Yeah, it? so the car is speeding up. So you have to go clutch down and just brake to stop mm -hmm. it. So we move forwards when it's safe to. So brake, brake. So good. Breaking and slowing here because look, we can't see what's coming. Does that make sense? Yeah. And we're going to be going around that way, but do it very slowly if you don't know what's coming. So, is there anything coming? No. Right, so, we're very mm. slowly keep edging forwards. Start steering as well. That's it. Yeah, so that's all it's hard to see, and you can't really see. Yeah. So, by going slowly, if something did suddenly appear, what could you easily do? Um, well, crash into them. <laughs> easily crash into them, did you say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they come and I haven't stopped. So, um, what we're going to do, push? we're going to pull off on the left, just near the second lamp post. So, this is good position, steering away from the curb now. This is where you need to be losing, no closer than this. That's it, this would be good here. Keep your feet still. So, because the things we curve here, good. I like that. Because what made you want to check that handbrake's on? I thought it might be rolling a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Because that's the sort of it's that habit, isn't it? Sort of checking the handbrake's definitely on and checking it's in neutral. Yeah. Before you come off the pedals, mm -hmm. so you know 100% sure where they are. Um. But yeah, I don't mean where. Yeah, with it, kind of if something. If something came. Yeah, and I didn't stop. Yeah. Then. Yeah, but by going at a very slow speed, how does then that it's help? Then it's easy, easy to see them and stop react, yeah, react to react to the situation. Yeah, exactly. Um, I suppose the question I just want to ask you, you know, like we've had this thing a few times when, actually, yeah, I don't think it's a good idea. And we've had this thing a few times when we've been moving, when the hand breaks on. Mm -hmm. I just want to understand, is that kind of... Is that because you forget the handbrake's on, or is that because your clutch is coming up too high by accident, or do you know um, what's causing that to happen? 
I think that usually happens probably when I need to turn into a road, isn't it? Um, what is it whenever it's, it's a few, yeah. a few things happen when we stop and put the handbrake on? So we need the handbrake sometimes to stop it rolling back. Yeah, it's probably me thinking ahead and wanting to have a quick reaction so I don't stop traffic and then I forget. Oh, okay. So he's sort and, of forgetting the handbrakes. Forgetting the handbrake and bringing right. my my foot off the clutch quicker. Yeah. In a sort of like, oh, I need to get the biting point quicker so that I can move okay. quick. But uh, yeah. So. Um. Yeah, because what what's what's the problem if we try to move off with the handbrake on? not good for the car. Yeah, it's not, it's not designed for it really, is no, it? It's no. not designed to be moved for the handbrake on. Yeah. Um, so, do you know what the, what's the solution then? If, have you said it's happening because you're feeling like you, you're kind of trying to pull out quickly out of the junction? Mm -hmm. What's the solution? I suppose give myself time and not worry about people behind me. Mm. Or... Yeah, I know it's yeah. easier said than done, <laughs> but yeah, because um, we're in a nice quiet area, mm -hmm. we're not going to yeah, live in a, not like we're in a town centre or anything like that, we're also in a marked car so people can understand that we're okay. sort of learning to drive and that sort of thing, so you might need just a few more moments just to sort of, yeah. to sort of work out what to do. Um, because even even actually it's a weird thing because if, if sometimes well, if you try to move off and the handbrake's on as well as not being very good for the car um sometimes the car might even stall mm. because it's holding the car back and it's fighting it can't manage yeah. it and then how's that going to affect how long it takes you to pull out from the junction It'll take even longer mm. so sometimes it can be like that or a little bit like earlier on when we're we're because the reason we've stopped here is we can practice some of stopping and starting mm -hmm. here on this bit of slope um you might find if you rush it a little bit you might not find your biting point yeah and then the car starts to roll back and yeah. you've got to go on the brake and you've got to restart and it yeah it'll again so take, take longer so, what you mean. so sometimes going slower at first overall is quicker it's actually quicker yes um and it'll probably make you feel better because you get more confident because mm. you'll get it you'll get it correct and you'll yeah. think oh, oh i did that really well i moved off without it rolling there yeah um and i made the handbrake went off properly that time yeah you're absolutely so it'll, right. it'll, make, it'll make you feel more confident as well mm. so um but yeah i thought we'd have a few goes of of um moving and stopping here sure um we're not going to move far we're mm -hmm. going to move forward and maybe just come to a stop just next to that silver car. Right. Just side by side to them. Mm -hmm. um, and then we then maybe do it a few more times. So we're not going to okay. be stopping in lot into lot of parking. We're just okay. practicing it here. Just literally okay. practice stopping and starting mm -hmm. on a bit of a slope. Sure. So um, how much help do you think you want from me with doing this? Not do you sure. think you'll be okay? Or? <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. Just sort of see how we get on, shall we? Yeah. So remember, your task is to have to move off from here and stop next to that silver car. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure the car the the car doesn't move when the handbrake is on. The car only moves yeah. after you've released the handbrake and it moves okay. forwards. Okay. That's basically your basically your task. Okay. How would you know? Um, the um, the revs. The revs have gone down. Yeah. And I could hear a different sound. Cool. Just wasn't sure. Yeah. So have another go just to sort of just to try again. So if you go clutch down. Yeah, and have another go just to get really used to knowing where it is. So it's. That's it. Yeah. Good. Well responded though to that when he moved a bit.
Cool. And then we're going to have another go at doing that. Okay. And I want to see if you move forwards and come to a stop maybe just after. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Took my foot off the clutch. Okay. So, so if you are supposed to be slow enough now, if you want to take your foot off the clutch, what do you need to just do with the gears? Take it out of the gear. Yeah. Was it just your foot was slipping or kind of no, you're just, just tired? Oh, okay. Just a bit tired <laughs> your foot was. Um, do you think you're okay to have another go? Is your, yeah. How's your foot feeling at the uh, moment? Is it? It's fine. Are you sure? It's, yeah. So, um, do you reckon you can now see if you move us forwards and stop us just after the red car? Mm -hmm. Don't worry if you're blocking the driveway because okay. we're not parking. We're just practicing stopping and starting. Okay. Um, do I need to turn it off and then turn it back on? Um, you'll just need to press the clutch fully down and then just press the buttons to turn it on. Right, okay. How was that one? Yeah, good. What was good about that one? Um, I managed to start um, easy. It yeah. didn't roll back. Yeah. And then I remember to press the, press the clutch before I pressed the foot brake. Yeah, I went for stopping. You mean? Yeah, for stopping. Yeah. So it was quite smooth. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, that was a nice one. Then that was. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave the engine on because we're going to walk soft long because we're not in a park position where we stay here for long. Because okay. um, now the idea is then to use those skills on this junction here. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if you can make out there's a T junction just in front of us. Can you make out if you look at the where the shadow of the tree is? Yeah. Look just after the oh, shadow I of the can tree. See, can you see I the line? The line, yes. Yeah. That's it. I can see. The other way to work this out as well. When you come up to this, is it physically possible to carry on going in a straight line? No. What stops you going oh, in the straight yeah, line? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because if you kept going in a straight line, you'd I'd be just. Yeah, you'll be you'll be going into their house for dinner. Yeah. yeah. And it's not even dinner time. <laughs> so, if you have a house in front of you, it's mm. often a clue. Oh, there's yes. a junction there or something there. So oh, yeah, always you're to slow right. and kind of. I thought the road was going there, but I didn't realise. Yeah. Yeah, right. I suppose it could do, couldn't it? But the fact that something directly in front of you mm -hmm, is often mm -hmm. a hint. Yeah. There's some sort of junction there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah. So this is we're going to practice that skill at this junction. So mm -hmm. when you get to this T junction, mm -hmm. um, I want you to come to. We're going to be doing. A, we're going to be turning right. Okay. Um, at the T junction, and I want you to come to a stop at the line. Mhm. Mm and then to then put your handbrake on. Yeah. And you understand why you need to put your handbrake on this it's one. It's a give, which probably a giveaway line. It is there. a giveaway line. But it's a slope uh, so, as well. Yeah, it's a slope, so you'll be rolling. Yeah, there. so you need to put your handbrake on once you've stopped, mm -hmm. and then do just like you did here, like you did your gas and your bike. Yeah, and then release. And then the release brake. the handbrake when it's safe to go. Okay. So, um, do you reckon you'd be able to go to have a go at doing that? Yeah, that's fine. So we move off when it's safe to. So do you understand now what we're talking about? Why yeah. you need to put the handbrake on in these situations? I didn't have enough time to take my um, yeah. foot from the brake. That's yeah. it. So that's what the handbrake's for.
So what's your plan going to be then? It's um, difficult to see. Need to edge forward a little bit more. That's it. Something's coming. And when you edge forwards, um, I need to steer that way. Yeah, so you'll be basically doing what some people call peep and creep, where yeah. you very slowly creep the car forwards while peeping forwards mm -hmm. and checking in case something suddenly appears. Looking left. So, is it clear to the right? So clutch down a bit. Yeah. That's it. it. And then start steering. Steer, steer. Clutch down a little bit. That's it. So I just need to ask you to press the clutch down a bit there because there's that blue car in front of you. You saw them. Yeah. So we didn't want to be moving forward when there's a car in front of you. Which is why I said to press the clutch down a bit to control the speed so it doesn't move mm -hmm. forwards anymore. So we're going to continue going down this road. Remember, I'll let you know in plenty of mm -hmm. time if you're turning. Just go on, you'll be okay with that gear. Go on, you'll be okay. Like gear two, be perfectly fine. Two and then ease off the gas to go mm -hmm. slower if needed. So just because you're in gear two, it doesn't mean you have to continue building speed. Like this speed here will still be a fine in gear two. Mm -hmm. And this next corner you have to be quite aware of because buses do come round here. So if you just cover the brake, because if a bus comes, you would need to come to a stop because they'll be coming onto your side of the road. Off the brake, off the brake, off the brake. It's not a junction, it's a corner. We don't want to be stopping there. And then at the end of the road, good, at the end of the road, we're going to turn right. Braking a bit more, give yourself time, brake more, brake more. So clutch down into gear one. Brake more, brake more, brake more. And you go in your own time, go all your own pace. So you go whenever you're ready. safe to go around the park vehicles? It is now, yeah. Yeah? Anyone overtaking? Mm, no. And remember we spoke about the position, because we're to, that's, this is a really good position where you are here. And here I'd cover brake, and you just want to dip into the left a bit, ready to give way if someone comes around that corner fast, if that makes sense. Yeah. And now you have another look, is it safe to go around now? Yeah. Does that make sense? Where you just dip yeah, in there yeah. just to be ready. If the road was straight, we might not have needed to do that, but it's just because it's on a bend. That's it. around this corner we we'll deal with this park vehicle first because yeah. if someone comes around this corner what do you need to do need to stop. yeah so be ready is it like this one so stop stop look stop clutch down clutch down clutch down good you saved it so we're gonna have to just do a bit of steering while you're stationary here just because it's very tight I'll let them go and that's fine just steer a bit more while you're stationary it's not ideal because it's a bit tight mm -hmm. So, and use the handbrake if it helps, and then we'll proceed around when it's safe to. So, so we're going to have to show him some really good clutch control, because it's a bit tight here. So, 
that's great. That was some really nice clutch control there. It's like that this part of the here, if something comes towards you, what would you need to do? So it's be very ready. It's all about anticipating and being ready. So then you're not surprised by anything. go around these vehicles use the whole of the other road Louise yeah okay use the whole of the road because the oncoming car is not going to fit with you so there's no yeah. point of trying to keep near the park vehicles all it's going to do is like so that is the danger of if they yeah. open their door all it's going to do is make it more dangerous if they open the door so you might as well use the whole of yeah. the road turn right. So it's better to be too early than too late. When you pull out, I'd like you to then pull up on the left, just near the lamp post. If you okay. can see that, just where the fence is. Sure. So let's see if we can get some really good judgment from that curve from we down at the bottom. Yes, I'm really far away. So, um, yeah, but sorry about that. that was the battery just dying on this cam uh, my that's camera just right. there. But yeah, that's restarted now. So, um, yeah, it's a little, little bit, could be a little bit close to the curb. But um, I'd rather you be here, though, Louisa, than closer. Okay. Because what's the problem if you try and get too close? Yeah, you can damage the tyres. Yeah. So, because even if you look to your right there, can you see how much room there isn't there? Yeah, there I reckon is. a bus could fit through. Okay. So, so yeah, it could be close to the curb, but um, yeah, I'd rather that than us getting too close and then sort of um, hitting the curb and that sort of thing. Okay. Um. So, I appreciate as well. That's probably a bit tricky there because I've got to ask you to pull up on the left immediately after turning out of a junction so there's, there's like um, two things happening quite quickly can make it a bit trickier uh, maybe not but sometimes that can make it a bit tricky because there's two things you've got to do two things in quite quick succession maybe yeah I um, suppose also I think thinking of what you said earlier that I was tend to get too close to the curb then I thought let's not get too close to the curb I yeah we'll be further away now yeah sometimes sometimes it can end up being like that it's kind of go to, go to the extremes mm. but um yeah um but a good thing is could you could sort of tell that after you came to a stop you could tell can you you're a bit far from the yeah. curb yeah so i think that just shows me that a lot of it is just the multitasking mm. that once you've stopped you can realize it it's just getting used to how to realize it while you're moving that's right so, um, and that will get better at practice. So you'll be able to, to realise it more while you're moving. Yeah. And then think, oh, that's a bit close, that's a bit far, or mm -hmm, whatever mm -hmm. might be the case. Um, so, yeah, so. How was it How was it to pulling away from this junction early a moment ago? How did you find that? Um, it was okay. Yeah, what was okay about it? So I um, thought it was better. Yeah, it, I've managed to control the car with a with a clutch. Yeah. Um, creep up and observe. Mm. Yeah. So I felt like I had better control of the car than yeah before. 
Yeah, I thought it was. It was better control. Yeah. And I think you kind of realised, didn't you, I think, on that one, the importance of putting the handbrake on. Yeah. Because at first, you, I think when you realised you stopped a bit early from the line, mm. and you were about to go f come off the brake, yeah, I thought to my move forward. So and I then you, put, yeah, because yeah. it actually did roll back, yeah. didn't it, at first? And I think you could have gotten a bit better at just jumping on the brake, no, stop it, because it's rolling yeah. back. Yeah. And then putting the handbrake on. So, um, yeah. So this sort of thing would require using the handbrake normally. Mm. Um, I just want to see if it made sense as well that when we were then when we were edging forwards, um, we had a blue car that was looking to turn in yeah. to this road, and we still we seemed to still continue to move forwards when they were turning in front of us. Yeah. Was that something you were intentionally doing, or was no, that not intentional? No, def definitely not. I think I, yeah, just got muddled up. Oh, okay. So, so, um, so it makes sense then why you shouldn't be moving forwards when they're still in front. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. So if you get a bit muddled up, what's the safest thing to do? Stop. Yeah, and stop the car how? Mm -hmm. um, foot brake. Yeah. So, Hand brake. Yeah. yeah. So that's going to be a better option at the moment. Ultimately, yeah, clutch control mm -hmm. would be really mm -hmm. good, like mm -hmm. we practiced a bit earlier. Mm -hmm. But it does take a bit more finesse that you have yeah. to be able to really control the pedals to sort of stop it with the clutch yeah. or to sort of stop it rolling back with the clutch. Mm -hmm. But at the moment, yeah, if, if you're not if in doubt, then just go for the foot brake mm -hmm. and then go clutch down, foot brake, handbrake it, and then kind of yeah. then restart the process. I'm pretty sure it takes a bit longer, yeah. but that's what's going to be needed at the moment just mm -hmm. to sort of get that's while you're getting used now. to it. Um, so. Um, I suppose the other question I was going to ask you is what what do you think is kind of sometimes you seem a little bit sort of hesitant to change up to gear two. It almost feels like you know it needs to happen. Yeah. But you seem to not be doing it sometimes. Like just something in the earlier on where I say it's okay, you'll be okay, and you say it's um, okay, yeah, be okay, going to gear two, be fine. <laughs> what's um, what's stopping you from doing it? Do you think? I think because I don't yet have full confidence of me controlling the car. Yeah. When I change to gear two, I feel it going differently. Okay. I feel it going faster, and I'm a bit still apprehensive of that. Yeah. Mm. Of having the speed, but not fully be able to control yeah. it. Yeah, I can ask him. Yeah, and it's very honest of you. Um. But yeah, definitely, that's the that's the first thing that scares me. Yeah. The fact that I feel it going It will pull you a little yeah. bit more, won't it? Pull you along yeah, a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, definitely. Um, if, of course, then it is then going a bit too fast. Full break. That's it? Yeah. So, because, um, yeah, you can actually go, the car can go about eight miles an hour in gear two. Oh, okay. So we can go quite slow in gear two. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I appreciate what I mean. It does, it does mean you might have to press the gas less because the gas in gear two the gas when you press the gas it'll want to go faster right so you have to press the gas a lot less and you might have to use the brakes more okay. so i can appreciate what you mean but it's still controllable but it does mm -hmm, require mm -hmm. i suppose a bit more control with your pedals in gear one because gear one wants to go so slowly as soon as you just come off the gas a bit it will just slow quite yes. suddenly okay. where in gear two it won't do that as much because it wants well, to keep going a bit more i think that's now that you said it, there's definitely something that uh, I can look back and I've had the foot on, on the gas in the same way in gear two as I had in gear one. And that's probably when I noticed it goes a bit faster than I'm comfortable with. Mm. I didn't realize that it's less, it's less sensitive that I can take my foot off a little bit. Yeah, in gear two, do you yeah, mean? Yeah, gear two. yeah. So in gear two, you won't have to repress the gas much at all. Yeah, okay. I which is kind I of why it's, it's good because you don't have to press the gas as much. It's saving fuel. Yes. Which is why you change up gears because mm. it means you have to press the gas less and you save fuel. It makes a lot of sense. Um, so we're going to look to move off from here though, and mm. um, when we get to the end of the road, we're going to be turning right. Okay. So we move off. Um, unless you've got any questions, any questions? No, I don't think okay. so. So we move off when it's safe to. Just to confirm, at the end of the road, we're going to be 
turning right. So trust your position, steer that way, but if you're drifting, you're perfectly positioned well. Think about what happened earlier. What happens earlier when you try to just go without yeah, using the handbrake? Almost stalled and it rolled, rolled yeah. back and almost So at this stage, the handbrake's going to be your friend. That was nice, yeah. Yeah, so don't think it's like wrong to use the handbrake. The handbrake is there to be used if it's going to help. Mm. So when you're going to do a little bit more gas here, because why is it safe to press the gas harder? You can see yeah. well ahead. That's it. And look, this road's even for, this is roads for buses, so a bus can fit oh, yeah, here, you're going to be right. fine to fit of a car as well. I'm going for that gear two, be fine. You're just meaning gear two, you'll need to press the gas less. That's it. So in the moment, the bit up here, remember, it's just going to be a, a bend to the right. Mm -hmm. It's not a T-junction, so you won't need to stop for right. on, on coming vehicles, unless it's a bus, because a bus will come onto your side of the road. If you cover the brake, that's it, cover the clutch. I know it's hard to see, just brake a little bit to slow it. This is just a right bend here. You don't know if you can see the line. It's very yeah. hard to see because of the sun. That's it, ease off the brake. That's it. I know what you mean, it's not like that, you mean how it does feel different in gear two of it, yeah, isn't it? it does. And then at the end of the road, I'll let you do this, we're going to turn left. Set. So you're going to have to use the brakes earlier because you're at higher speed in gear two, a little bit more brake. So and then do your clutch down, clutch down, clutch down, clutch down, clutch down, that's it, and then follow the curve, that's it, and then stop at the line. Good idea. Good. Clutch down a fraction, because remember your handbrake's on, so have your hand on the handbrake. Oh. Find your biting point first before you release it, otherwise it'll roll. So you've got your bite, clutch down a fraction, that's it. And then we'll slowly edge out, clutch up a little bit. No. See, that's where it needs to be, so I'll do the handbrake for you. So I'm just going to brake a little bit for you. You need to stop for this car, Louisa. You need to stop for them. Handbrake on. Focus on your feet. Gas and biting point. Focus on your feet. Clutch down a little bit. Handbrake off. That's it. Still breathing? Yeah. <laughs> I have forgotten to breathe for a bit. So, and then why is it safe to build speed? Um, I'm away from this vehicles on the left, remember. Why is it safe to build speed? Um, it's easy to see. Yeah. So a little bit more gas then. Oh. Maybe a little bit more speed. So it's easy to see there's nothing to brake for, it's all clear ahead. the speed, the speed's fine. If the speed limit, if they wanted to go down to 10 miles an hour for that speed bump, the speed limit would be 10 miles per hour. Okay. So this speed is perfectly fine there for that bump. Does it feel okay? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so you don't need to slow for that bump. No. You're slow enough. We're going to take the next road on the left. So it's just to use your brakes early, remember. Brake a bit more. Pass it. And then clutch down and into gear one. Easing off the brake. As you keep the braking because it's downhill, a bit more brake. That's it. Some more room, remember. You need 
to give them more room. We're going to then pull off on the left just before this white vehicle. So more room, and there's more over to the right. It's always to the right to give more room, remember. So it's just to remember, Louise, that there's a lot more room to your right. Yeah? <laughs> okay. So there's a lot more room to keep just be more out to the right. So, um, yeah, I thought we'd give a little time to have a breather for a moment. Um, yeah. Any questions in theory about what you need to be doing when you're pulling away to make sure the car doesn't roll back? Um, handbrake. Yeah. Yeah, I got modelled up again, didn't I? Okay. Definitely. Does it make sense in theory? Is it just it kind does. of like a... Yeah, it does make sense, a lot of sense in theory. Yeah. Like, I have I have done it. Yeah. I've done it before. Um, Are you thinking about the cars behind when you're at the junctions? Um, when you're stopped at them? Yeah, I think I'm trying to make my reactions quicker. Right. There. Okay, you must stop that. Yeah. Do you understand why you need to stop stop that? Stop trying to do it quickly? Mm, yeah, because you'll end up being even slower. Yeah. Mm. Because then I need to recover from it. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, you've got to do it at your own pace, haven't you? Yeah. You've got to do it at the pace that your feet, so your feet can work out what to do. Mm. Um, you'll mostly see blanking out if there's a car behind, not even thinking about them, so mm. you can focus on what you need to do. Right. Um... So, okay, you did it. You did it well. You were doing it well when we were pulling away. When we stopped to that side of the road and did it a few times a yeah. short while ago. Yeah. Um. But that's possible because there you were fully focused on your feet. Absolutely. And that's what you yeah. need to do. You need yes. to fully focus on your feet, not be thinking about trying to do it quickly or mm. anything like that. Yeah. To fully focus on your feet. Um. So. Um, so we're going to we're, any questions about that at the moment? Uh, no, no. Okay. So we're going to move off from here when it's safe to. spoke about the distance here that was much better there where you gave them more room yeah. and the same here because remember would two cars aren't going to fit here are they no so you might the as well use the space. whole of the road the whole of the space There's no point of only using half but use all of the space that's good and the same with the silver car remember use all of the space that's available This is good positioning here. And I'd then like to then find a safe place to pull up on the left, just somewhere along here. So let's be away from the curb. So keep the wall straight here. That's it. Down. Yeah. Is it because it's on the hill? Um, I don't know. Well, work is pretty. I suppose it might affect it a little bit. We'll keep the engine on because we stop for long. Um, um, yeah. Just press the brakes a bit too hard. Okay. But, um, yeah. I don't know. The hill would have made a major, didn't it, made a major difference this bit here. But yeah. Just press the brake pedal a bit too hard. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So what I'd like to do now, I'd like to move forwards from here, and then come to a stop. Um, at the next lamp post, the okay. lamp post just here. This one. This one okay. just here. This first lamp post. Okay.
so um yeah how how are those last two pulling away there pulling away there those last times or two times we pulled away from the side of the road yeah that was good S -s smooth enough yeah i think i need to remember when i stop to actually really brake and release the brake a little bit so it doesn't yeah i know what you mean yeah yeah mm. um it's, I, suppose, I don't know if this, sometimes it might be an after effect because when you know we've just been driving in gear two a bit more, in gear two you would need to press the brake pull that hard. Oh, okay. But when you're at slower speed you won't have to press it that hard. Right. Because it makes sense because at higher speed you need to press the brake pull yeah, harder, harder to slow down. That's right. At slow speed you barely need to touch the brake to slow. It'll just be like right. just a very gentle touch and it will, yeah. will basically yeah. stop it. Um, so it's it's not kind of you don't, it's not a case of always press the brake pedal the same amount of pressure. It mm -hmm. depends on what speed you're going at. Right. Yeah. Depends on if it's uphill or downhill can affect it sometimes. Um, but, um, yeah. What was good about those last two pulling away? Is that pulling away from the side of the road? What was good about those last two? Um, I had good clutch control. Mm. I suppose. Yeah. Um, pulling away and yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's very good. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, and um, why why was that better? Do you think? What do you think you were doing differently that time compared to earlier on? Because it's actually the same situation. If anything, this is steeper than mm. earlier on. And that those last um, two were really good clutch control compared to earlier on. Where you I got a little suppose bit of I concentrated more on on the biting point. Yeah. And where it is, and mm. just work with that. Yeah, that's it. So that's what you have to do, isn't it? I know it's easier said than done, mm. but that's what you have to do. You have to focus on your feet. Yeah. Because you can do it. Yeah. You just have to focus on your feet to make sure it happens. Blank out anyone that might be behind you. Right. And focus on what your feet are doing. Okay, shall do that. So, um, so we move off um, when it's safe to. Mm -hmm. three in a row they're really good it's like so you can do it just just give have to give confidence to do it to focus on what you're doing and not to be influenced by anyone else around you apart from me you can be influenced <laughs> by me and then we're going to turn right at the end of the road so is your signal still on But I like this, the way you're getting used to using it, because it does help. So we definitely have to go to gear one, just have to make sure we've braked enough first. So to sort of show you um, yeah. what I mean, if you just keep in gear one at the moment, there's no one um, following us at the moment. Mm -hmm. If you just, um, actually it's the red car to be honest, yeah, what we'll do, we'll carry on for the moment, we're carrying mm -hmm. driving down, so because there's a red one that's coming up behind us. So just a little bit more gas, we're nice and clear, it's all quite safe. And then we're going to be taking the next road on the right. So, so cover that brake. 
clutch you're ready cover that clutch that's right that's it so you're ready so we're doing it at your own pace so is it safe yeah okay so you go going when you're ready remember here to be closer to the parked vehicles because there is more space over there than you might think and at the end of the road we're going to turn right and as before if you could just come to a stop and you think you need to steer mm -hmm. just to break it down into stages keep that wheel straight because it's drifting so that's it so when you, a bit further ahead yeah so we've got a little bit of further ahead but this is why we sort of just get used to judging it so just touch more and when you move you can stop then when could you start steering do you think now. yeah that's it clutch down a bit that's it So is your signal still on? No. <laughs> so remember here, handbrake you want to be using here. slow bit more brake and then what gear are you going to go nice. for? Off the brake now, gear one now. That's it. Remember here, you're going to use half, just a bit of the road or all of mm, the road? All of it. That's it. And then we're then going to pull up on the left just before the white car. It's getting better though, because you actually did it at first. You actually positioned yourself perfectly from the curb, but then I and then I'm you too steered far in away. more. I thought I'm too far away. Ah, is that why you steered in more? Then? Yeah. But it was actually perfect at first, and then you steered <laughs> in, steered in more. Um, so do you want to switch engine off for a moment? Um, so, um, yeah. So what we're actually do? Shall we swap over mm -hmm. and then um, head you back, and then we we'll have yeah. a little kind of recap? Sure. Yep, on the lovely. on the sort of way back. So based on what we've done today, mm -hmm. um, tell me some of the key things that you've kind of learnt today or you felt you've got better at or mm. what do you think? Well my right turns have been, uh, I think they weren't too bad. Yeah. Judging how my left turns were in the beginning, well I couldn't judge how much I needed to steer. Yeah. I think I was able to judge quite well how much I needed to steer to turn right. Yeah. Which was new. Yeah, you're quite right because when you were doing the right turns, you're quite right. Yeah. Because did I need to help you with the steering when turning right? Uh, not that I remember. No, I don't think I did at all. So you were, yeah, I completely agree. You were getting, you're judging quite well of how much to steer and also when to steer mm, when yeah. turning right. Um, um, what other things? Turning what? into that cul-de-sac that yeah. was easier than last time I turned into a cul-de-sac. Yeah. Um, <coughs> what do you mean? Like, 
turning round, turning yeah, the car around. Yeah, just turning the car around. Yeah. I remember, I think I remember what you said to me first time that I need to look out the back. Yeah. Because if I only look in the mirrors, then I don't have a true representation of how much space I have. Yeah, so it helps you to judge that. distance better, doesn't it? Yeah, I use that this time. Good. Mm -hmm. close and you're sort of adjusting yeah. the steering and um, which is good um, um, and what, what about when what about pulling away um, <coughs> on a hill I I only realized one of the last times yeah. when you said to me I was like Pull away here. I'm actually on a hill and I'm doing that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not like it was on a flat surface. I found that I didn't struggle too much with it when I was able to concentrate on my my feet. Properly. Yeah. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. Because it's yeah. Because it, it's, 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 it's I suppose the way to think about it really, doing a hill start is basically the same as just pulling away normally yeah because when you pull away normally you should normally set your gas and then find your biting point yeah that's the same you do on a hill start yeah because if you're in a it's the if same you're at the biting point you won't roll back yeah that's it so it's the same process mm -hmm. as move my normally in theory um but i see what you're saying as well i suppose i think like you're saying you kind of almost do need to be almost aware you're on a hill mm -hmm. so you realize Maybe good idea to put the handbrake on yeah, here. Yeah, that as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think that was getting better, yeah, because he did seem like you're getting more conscious yet yeah, to use the hand yeah, handbrake. Yeah. Um, because yeah, it's definitely something that definitely to use it. It's definitely there to, to help. Um, what about things to improve on? If there's anything, if you redo any of today, any bits you'd do differently or? I what think you? definitely I need to tell myself that I don't need to put pressure on myself. Yeah. Because that's that's been the cause of me getting muddled up. Yeah. The main cause, really. Mm. Uh, otherwise, probably reversing would need a bit more practicing. Positioning on the road also, although it is getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, if I try to do that, if, if I try to do a maneuver too fast so that I don't, I'm too conscious of, you know, stopping traffic or something like that, then it ends up being a bigger mess. Hmm. So it's, yeah, I think, I think that's definitely, I think that's the thing you have to be very conscious of and really be aware of when you're, when you're new to learning to drive. Or you to do anything, you're learning anything really, isn't it? Just do yeah. it at your own pace. Don't yeah. be influenced by by um by others. Yeah, I agree with that. So this is tight. um is a bit, isn't it? So any any questions for me at the moment? I don't think so. I think you've answered and explained everything perfectly. Okay. Cool. It always gets a bit tight here. Is this what it's like earlier, did you say? It um, was just not as bad as this. I was to be honest. It's, it's, yeah, it does get a bit like <laughs> this sometimes. It's a lot worse. There's lots of taxis. So um yeah, so we'll switch the camera off there. So bye-bye, people watching.